Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am Tom Rouse and thank you very much for deciding to tune in. If you're a Wolves fan and you've watched a couple of these videos now then why not subscribe for regular and up to the minute details and rumours and gossip all about our great club. Now I'm going to start off today by talking about a transfer rumour that's been going around for a couple of days now but there doesn't seem to be any traction behind it and also there are other teams interested in this player as well. So it's we don't know whether it's going to happen yet, but uh, Nottingham Forest striker Britt Asombalonga has been linked with us. Uh, they've just signed Jason Cummings from Hibernian as well, Forest have. So perhaps that might put Asombalonga a little bit further down the pecking order. And we could have a chance with signing him. We are about 6-1 to one with the bookies to sign him, uh, with Middlesbrough being the um, favourites to sign him. So it's not one that's looking likely at the moment, but he... Scored 14 goals last season. He had a few injury problems the season before. Uh, but he's a young player. He's only 24 years old. So hopefully, I mean, it's what we need. We need a goal scorer. We need somebody who's going to be able to score that number of goals. And possibly with the better service that he'll have, hopefully, from Cavalier and from Costa, he could provide the missing piece of that attacking jigsaw that we've uh, we've had. Another transfer rumour coming into the club is Brad Walker from Hartlepool United, a team who got relegated from the Football League earlier this summer. Uh, I did tease it a little bit in one of my early videos this week, um, but it was, he's on a free transfer, he's only 21. He had a trial with Wolves, interestingly, back in December 2015 under Kenny Jacket, so this is a farewell signing. I think... I know, I think I'm a little bit guilty of just deciding, right, that's a farewell signing, that's a Mende signing, but it does seem to be, at the moment, that they are working as a team to bring in players who are going to improve our team. We'll see whether that's the case as, the, as it goes on, but anyway, Brad Walker is a midfielder who's played 107 times for Hartlepool. Wigan are also interested. I think possibly for him, you'll get more first-team football at Wigan down in League One than with us. And I don't really know much about him either. We look set to miss out on Conor Mahoney from Blackburn, the winger. He looks like he's going to be joining Nottingham Forest, who have been busy in the transfer window themselves uh, early on. While I was doing my research for this video, I came across an article by Matthew Nash at the HITC website. Um, and he was talking about players that perhaps Nuno might know or might want to bring in. And one particular player that he highlighted was a Belgian winger called Zakari Bakali. Um, now, he signed him for Valencia when he was the manager there after he'd been uh, touted as being the next Hazard uh, after his performances for PSV. He didn't quite fit the bill of Valencia. Things didn't go quite right and Nuno was sacked a few months after he'd brought him in. So he's only played a couple of times for Valencia and he struggled to cement that first team place. But he's still only 21 and if Nuno's seen something in him before, Perhaps he could be something to bring in again. Certainly there's players out there that uh, Nuno has worked with before who have got immense potential and capability. So hopefully we'll start seeing some being linked with some more exciting players over the next week or so. Uh, in terms of leaving the club, Dominic Iorfa is still strongly linked with the move away. Uh, Derby County reportedly interested in a £4 million bid for him. Uh, and now with Miranda coming in as well and Ryan Bennett, that surely pushes, you know, I've been talking about Danny Bath being pushed down the order, but Dominic Iorfa is even further down the pecking order still. So I'd imagine he would be going out. Ethan Ebanks, Landell as well, must be right at the bottom of the pile at the moment and surely will be moved on. In other news, it was the a draw for the first round of the League Cup today, or the Carabao, however you say it, the energy drink cup. Uh, and Wolves have been drawing us Yeovil Town at home and the fixture at the moment is going to be played on the 8th of August. Interestingly, it's the first ever competitive meeting between the two teams. Uh, of course, Yeovil, when they played in the Championship a couple of years ago, it was the year that we were relegated to League One. And now they've gone the other way and hopefully we'll be pushing on further. Another piece of interesting news that I've seen this week is that Harry Maguire has been sold to Leicester for 20 plus million, more than 20 million from Hull. Um, while he was at Sheffield United in League One, the, the year that we were down there, there were massive comparisons made between Danny Barton and Harry Maguire and their potential. And it's the 
way that they've gone, the way that their careers have gone over the last two or three years has been crazy. And I'm sure now that his career is going to go from strength to strength to strength. And one final bit of news, if you've been on the ball this afternoon, then you would have spotted that, I don't know, you could have avoided, avoided it to be honest, Cristiano Ronaldo, sources close to him are saying that he's looking for a move away from Real Madrid, and we all know who his agent is, that's right, George Mendes. So hopefully, I mean, is it beyond the realms of possibility? Could he offer Cristiano a nice little bed sit in Whitmarines? You don't know. Maybe something in techno will be uh, more Cristiano's style. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the new Wolves kit which was launched today, then click down below. And one very final thing I would like to ask my subscribers or anybody watching this video, if you are a musician or if you're in a band or if you know somebody who's in a band, then I would like to call upon you to help me with these videos because I haven't got an introduction, I haven't really got an end screen either, so what I would like is to use my subscriber base and put together something at the beginning or at the end of um, these videos as a little introduction and to showcase uh, the band as well that will send the music in. If you, if you do, there will be a link in the description all the time to your YouTube or your Facebook or your Twitter, whatever you use, um, and hopefully it will be beneficial for the, for the both of us. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.